That's what's up. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, alongside my brood. Cammy, Cammy, Thomas, and Preston. Now, there's huge issues going on in schools, and first of all, they got rid of a lot of the physical education programs. How many days a week do you have gym? Um, three days a week for like 30 minutes, and now that it's cold outside, we don't get recess all the time. So you don't get like recess once a week, all the time. We get recess because it's cold. What time does school start? It starts at 9 a.m. and goes till 3.35. That's a long time in school. How much of that day are you sitting in your desk? Um, probably about five hours. So you're in your desk for five hours a day, sitting in uncomfortable, non-ergonomically correct chairs. Well, for my teacher, she, does. she understands our need of activity. She does, but you're still sitting in these yeah, chairs. Now, there's a movement now to get stand-up desks for kids. I, myself, don't even sit at a desk anymore. I use an exercise ball to make sure my core is engaged. We wonder why kids are obese. You can let them go. Okay, you wonder yeah, why kids are obese. You wonder why kids have issues. And you wonder why there's structural issues. People have tight hips. People can't even do a squat. And the reason is we're not letting our kids move anymore. They're literally trapped in this chair. And if they move, they get in trouble. We wonder why kids act out. Have you ever tried sitting in a chair, listening to someone for hours and hours and hours and hours? They can't pay attention. You want kids to be better in school. You want kids to do better. Get them active. Get them moving. I literally have, Preston's playing, I literally have an hour to two hours a day to correct what's ruined in school because they're teaching them bad posture, bad everything, and we have no time to fix it. And there's simple solutions to the problem that are very inexpensive. One is a stand-up desk. They replace desks, I believe, every three to five years in a lot of schools. Okay, they have to. People put gum under the desks, it just yeah. gets nasty. They scratch them, that's fine. Imagine how much money we'd save on chairs if we got stand-up desks. If kids were standing up, they'd be in a much more natural position than sitting down. Sitting down is not something we want to do for long, extended periods of time. Now, another option would be with desks, get exercise balls, make them use their core. Or instead of sitting down, now a lot of these teachers are not physically fit. A lot of these teachers do not partake in any physical activity, at least the ones that I've seen. There are some, Thomas had a really hot teacher last year. My teacher is really active. She plays. Not nah, Thomas's teacher last year. She was on point. Yep. If she's watching this. She was my running kidding. coach. Yeah. So see, she's active. So she's in shape, but a lot of teachers aren't participating in physical activity. If they just mimic the American population, they're going to be sedentary, right? Mm -hmm. Americans don't get enough exercise. So the teachers don't even know what kids need. They don't know about spinal integrity. They don't know about all the pressure you're putting on your hips, the bad posture alignment you're creating by sitting in a desk at school all day long. My proposal is simple. Get exercise balls and make the kids sit in those and go to their desks or stand-up desks. I believe it's, um, is it, uh, um, uh, I, I forgot who it is, but I believe there's a few people working on getting stand-up desks in school. If we did that, not only would kids perform better in school, they'd burn more calories in school, lowering the rate of obesity, and they would save themselves a lifetime of structural issues. Now, there's more to it than just that, but when we're looking at educating our kids, we need to educate them. Now, I, I do believe that education starts in the household, and that's why I do what I do. But you got to realize, with the modern society, with taxes being so high, we don't have a household anymore where there's a stay-at-home mom. We don't have a household. Did you poop? Yeah. I'm going to have to cut this short. Preston just took a dump in his diaper. Okay. Can you just not touch it? Get your hand away. Don't put it down your pants. <laughs> Preston, get your hand away from your bottom. <laughs> Thomas, go make sure he doesn't put his hand down his pants. All right. What I'm suggesting we do... Honey, can you just take him upstairs and I'll be right up? No, he's fine. If he's playing, he's fine. Um, what, what we need to do is take these little steps because in the modern society, we... Thomas, just, just watch him. In the modern society, we cannot have two parents with one parent out working and one parent at home. Taxes are too high. Cost of living is too high. It's not like the 60s we had June Cleaver staying at home taking care of the kids. So we rely on public education to educate our kids in a lot of facets we should be doing at home. 
Now, if we're going to put that much of an emphasis on public schools, we need to put an emphasis on structural integrity and health, which long term will lower our health care costs. Also, it will lower the operating costs and the equipment costs, the fixed costs of school of schools if they were to use stand up desks or exercise balls. So you're looking at a whole long term systemic thing. You look at the stuff they feed in cafeterias. I'm not a big Michelle Obama yeah, fan. Like I I tried the pizza once and it tasted so bad and the next day I barfed. It's not about taste. It's about know, what's in the pizza. And it has been shown that kids who are fed nutritionally balanced meals will perform better. I mean, you know what? I'm not going to cite a study. But you know, forget I ever said that. At the end of the day, I want my kids eating healthy foods. I want them eating apples. I don't want them eating pizza. Why would they serve them industrial, nasty, cheese, grease, saturated fat laden pizza when probably for the same price you give them a nice healthy whole wheat and turkey sandwich? Yep, but they're not, they're not going to do that because they just bulk cook it. And they honestly, the government with their food pyramid, which is a disaster, has no idea what we're supposed to be feeding our kids. We're trusting our kids' health and their lives um, with, uh, to these people who have no clue what they're doing. So what I propose is, first of all, Preston is stinking really bad. I have to change a diaper. Second of all, I propose that we at least, for the least part, now the whole food program thing, that's a mess. We always send our kids to school with food. But if we are gonna if we're gonna keep our kids in school that we pay taxes for, where we live, we pay the highest tax in the country for schools. All I ask is that you pay more attention to our kids' health. And I'm not even asking for more PE. I'll take care of that after school, okay? I got that. What I'm asking for is instead of sitting them down, forcing them to be sedentary, make them learn while standing up or sitting on a stability ball where they can at least engage some core and burn more calories. What are your thoughts, Cammie? Give me your opinion on the whole topic. Then, Thomas, what, what, Thomas, what do you think? Uh, okay, my turn. I want to sit on a ball and sit on a really hard chair that holds my back. Would you rather engage that core? Thomas has a six-pack, by the way. Thomas, you want to show the world your six-pack? What the heck is that? Your abs, bro. Your abs, yeah. Come on. Stand up, flex those things. No, no, not your arms, your six-pack. No, just take off your shirt, bro. No, just, just pull it up. Pull it up. Look. Oh, the vacuum again. Oh, Preston, come here. No, it's Preston's turn. Preston's turn. Preston, come here. Oh. Whoa. Okay, just don't don't wipe poop on me. Come here. Come here. <laughs> ready? Ready? You ready? Look at that. Look at that vacuum. These are young Frank Zanes in the making. Cammy, what is your opinion? Cammy's almost 10. Yeah. So she can actually, you know, uh, rationalize things. Cammy, what's your opinion? What do you think we should do? I think that um, um, we should get stand-up desks because you, you didn't mention it yet, but you think better on your feet, right? Well, I don't know if you think better on your feet, but there will be, you're, you're engaging more yeah, things. Yeah. And I find when I sit down and I'm not in an exercise ball, I'm not standing up, I don't get up all the time. I find that my, blood, my legs tend to get a little, a little weird, like tingly. Because you're, you're not supposed to be in this area. You're not supposed, this is not how you're supposed to be all day. And... Um, you know, and, and also I find that when I'm standing or sitting, I have more energy and I think clearer. And that's why when I do cardio, I sometimes will dictate notes to myself so I can ideate. You see, you notice when you when you sit down and have a conversation, when you stand up, you're a lot different. So that's my opinion. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Mark Lobeliner, TigerFitness.com, along with the family, because... Preston, come Well, let's just say, go ahead, Cammie. It's not a game!